Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Cardboard to the Moses. Time to do a little break. We're gonna be doing 2018 Top Series 1 uh, baseball hobby half case break number eight eBay style. Hope you got your popcorn. Because we're gonna be here a while. Whole lot of cards in this. Whole lot of cards. So to speed this thing up a little bit. I'm honestly, I'm just going to go through it. If I catch any short prints, sweet. Either way, uh, my sorters have been trained to go through every single card and look at the short prints. Uh, short prints end in code 4-3. Super short prints end in code 4-4. Four, four. In case you didn't know, there's a code on the back of the card. That lets us know what's base, inserts, what's a short print, super short print, so on and so forth. All right. Uh, I do a pretty decent job of catching the short prints, too. And, of course, if you see them in the chat, please let me know. And then, you know, I'll go through them, sleeve them, top load them, the whole, the whole night. All right. And, as always, good luck, everybody. Here we go. What's up, Katie? Here we go. How's everything with you, Katie? Dan, I'm going to go fast, because I'm going to tell you something right now. This thing is, uh, it's not fun. It is not fun. If it's not fun for me, I know it's not fun for you. I spend more time opening up the packs than I do actually going through them. And with all this base, honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Well, how are you, Dan and Katie? I see their crest has been made. Cardinals and the Reds. Well, I don't know, Katie. You know, I got to ask. I got to ask. I'm glad you guys are doing well. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't think you guys are into basketball, right? We do got a new break coming out uh, tomorrow. A new product coming out tomorrow, actually. It is uh, Contenders Basketball, which I already have a full case break in the store. If you guys have any interest on that, I'm going to be uh, in the office super early tomorrow, and I'm actually going to be streaming pretty early, too. Eminem wants some Padres. Oh, boy. I mean, there's about two or three autos per case. So in a half caser, we'll probably see one autograph. We'd be lucky if we saw two. But you never know. You never know. Dan, I don't remember what I, what I say an hour ago, so... Expecting me to remember something I talked about last night is kind of crazy. Let's see if we can hit him for you. I did. Doesn't mean I didn't mean it. Katie, don't do that. Don't do that. That's the last thing I need to be eating, man. Too much sodium. Way too much sodium. Call them sexy too? Damn, I must have been smoking something last night. I'm just kidding. But seriously though, spend your money on contenders basketball instead of instead of buying ramen noodles. What up, Dan? How are you?
select prices are going ridiculous. So it's it'd be uh it'd be a miracle if I could if I could grab any more of that. And if I do, depending on what I bought it at, I might have to charge you a little pretty penny for that. But we shall see. We shall see. Alright. What up, Nicholas? Alright, away we go. So I can I can catch some of the short prints. If they are in the warm-ups, it's usually a short print. And for those of you saying, oh, you're going too fast. Well, luckily for you, uh, we post videos on YouTube where you can control the speed. But this stuff is, uh, this stuff is tough whole lot of base in this that's going to be numbered Robbie Ray of the D-backs that's numbered to 50 I actually hit a short print judge yesterday uh, funny enough you brought that up I have yet to come across a super short print I have yet to come across a super short print Although I haven't done too many cases of this. I think this is probably the third case overall we've done. A foil Jonathan Shoop of the Orioles. A foil Gary Sanchez Yankees. No short prints yet. No autos yet. No patches yet. So many base. Alright, this is a Chris Davis of the A's, number to 2018. Uh, yes, Timothy. Well, there's a relic for you, Darvish of the Dodgers. A little patch on that. Where's short prints at? Uh, Jed Lowry, A's, foil. Likewise, Timothy, nice to meet you, my dude. Uh, moving forward, man, if, if, if you need any... Uh, like, uh, you know, people have usually the same questions over and over again. Uh, but usually, man, if you read the description of the eBay listings, uh, most of the answers are, are there for you. Like, what are you going to get? Uh, what's what's included in the, in the break? Um, what time is it going to happen? And things like that. Greg Allen to 2018 for the Indians. come across any short prints yet we already hit the patch so we know there's not going to be an auto in here
Look at you guys welcoming in Tim. Just just one big old happy breaking family. I'm so proud of y'all. Christian Vasquez, foil for the Red Sox. Alright, that's it for the first one. You, you gotta drop the cards, Jason. It's Rip City and Chill. Uh, Nicholas, I'm gonna have to agree with you 100,000%. Somebody just picked up the Suns. Nice. And that Contenders. Dude, Contenders is slowly filling up, man. Down to 15 teams. Hopefully that thing will be full by tomorrow morning. I will be live by 12 tomorrow. So we can go ahead and get that thing ripped up. Uh, Jason's allowed in here. He's, he's not allowed to post any eBay links. Uh. And yeah, he knows. He knows what he did. He knows what he did. You know how, like, when you when you when you yell at your dog or whatever, or like you don't even have to yell at your dog. You come home and your dog is like missing, and it it, it instantly it, the dog already knows it did something wrong. So yeah, that's kind of where he's at. Dude, this Dan, honestly, this product is 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 in a is it it's in a league all its own. All right, Nicholas, damn, that was quick. Have a good night, dude. Later. Nick came in and was all right. I'm gone. What up, Alex, JJ, Hub, Keen, Jess, and Shimmy? Over on Breakers. Uh, I'm talking to people on YouTube right now. For those of you on Breakers that are like, who the fuck is he talking to? You know, usually I, I would be talking to myself. But, you know, there, there, there's some people over on YouTube uh, that I talk to as well. So if Breakers ever gets crappy for y'all, check out our YouTube. Dan, my question is why? To be honest, like seriously, why? You know, in a, in a case of the hobby, you'll probably get two or three autographs. You know, the short prints are decent, but man, extremely hard to hit. Katie or Dan, have y'all ever gone to, to Breakers? Oh, Dan, you ain't lying. Especially them short prints, man. I've seen some of them short prints go for some pretty big, big bucks. Tell me how you really feel, Katie. Hold on, let me type this up real quick.
All right, there we go. seen a short print yet uh, get a feeling that'll change soon you know about a half a case probably get about four maybe five short prints on average uh, Eugenio Suarez foil for the Reds you ain't lying um, Tomas I mean, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys That's why you're here. Because you know Uncle Jesse going to give it to you 100. Got a foil for Buster Posey Giants. I just want to see something nice. I just want to see something nice. Well, that'll be numbered. Nolan Arenado of the Rockies. That's uh, to 67. You know what, actually? I think Stadium Club and this are almost the same thing. Right, I agree. Yeah, Tomas, you 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 got it pretty much. Yeah, you know, I just I don't want to repeat it because you know. But yes, I agree. Got a foil for Logan Forsythe Dodgers. Got a Chase Utley of the Dodgers. That'll be numbered to uh, 76. Got a red on that card. Man, where the short prints at? Haven't seen anyone in a warm-up just yet. Here's a patch for Joanna Cespedes of the Mets. Two-color patch on that. Not numbered. Nothing there. What do we have here? Thought I seen something. Thought I seen something. I've gotten actually really good at catching the short prints. Even though I'm going through them pretty quick. You know, I got I got a I got a quantum computer for a brain. There's a number card. Brian Dozier. Of the twins, that'll be number to 2018. Yep. Machado? No, it's base. What 
Steven Strasburg to 2018 for the Nationals. I know you're cooking that steak medium rare, because that's the only way to eat that. All right, what's in this last stack here? Not one short print yet, man. I mean, there is a chance I probably passed up on the super short print, but I doubt it. Chase Anderson, Brewers, Foil. for that box. Medium rare is the only way to eat steak. You know, if you're if you're eating your your if you're eating that thing uh well done it's like you say, Katie, you might as well be eating a leather a leather couch or something. Waste of good piece of meat. Yep, that's what she told me the other night. What are you going to do? On to box three. Yay. No, Jason, not for another 37 minutes. I haven't seen anything from Dan yet. Katie? Uh, Jason, I mean, not Jason, Tomas, question. Will you be joining our contenders basketball breaks, my man? Because I'm, I'm trying to make some power moves before that thing uh, comes out tomorrow. I've been talking to him. I've been talking to Dan, Katie. What you mean? Yeah, Tomas, you, you and I both know that filler ain't going nowhere, dog. So talk, talk to your boy. Talk to your boy. Let me know. You know, I give I give I give my my VIPs a little extra uh, little extra deals. You know what I'm saying? There you go, Katie. And you know, I I would have it no other way. Well, Tomas, give me give me an idea of what you're thinking. Give me an idea so I can start breaking things down in my mind. Because contenders is gonna be hot fire. I can I can sense it. That draft class is loaded. I ripped these packs. Angry as fuck, I bet. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. 
I'm gonna take my clothes off. It's get it is getting hot in this office though. All right, here we go. What is it about butter that just makes a steak instantly better? Uh, Troy Tulowitzki of the Blue Jays foil. That's right, Dan. You put him. You put him in his spot. You put him in his spot. And wave him like you just don't care. Eduardo Nunez of the Red Sox with the uh, negative card. These are like one per case. The code says it's a base card, but that's a lie. Well, then I answer everybody, man. What you talking about? Some people I choose to ignore. Where the hell are the short prints? Mike Leak of the Mariners foil. So much for the autograph in that one. It is Cody Bellinger of the Dodgers with the material card. There you go. Is this Conforto a short print? Negative. Where do short prints be at, though? Cody Ballinger to 2018 for the Dodgers. Danny Duffy Royals foil. Not a single short print through three boxes, man. What is up with that? Foil for David Dahl, Rockies. Alright, last stack in this box. At least one short print? Can we get one? Gotta write on that card. Two different teams on it. Stanton of the Marlins, that's number to 289. Yeah, I know that, I know, right, Ramon? I'm used to seeing at least, you know, a couple be, you know, through, through three boxes. Lucas Sims, 
to 2018 for the Braves. All right, box three done. Uh, pretty far, Tomas, honestly. Pretty far away. That's in Parkland, Florida. I'm in Miami, Florida. So Parkland is more like Central Florida, I want to say. So that's a good four or five miles from where I'm at. And plus, at my high school, uh, you know, we weren't really concerned with uh, people coming in trying to shoot because everybody had everybody was strapped up back in high school. You, you either had some, you either had a knife on you, or you had a gun on you. You know, one of the perks of live uh, going to school in the hood. Is everybody strapped up? So by default, you got to be cool with everybody, or you run the risk of you know. Now I didn't. I don't mean four to five miles. I meant four to five hours. My bad. The marijuana. The marijuana catching up to me. Uh, is there any ink in this shit? There is, but it is extremely hard, Robert. If you did your research, you would know that there's about one or two autographs per case. Exactly, Rara. Exactly. You know, I, I, I was in one of those uh, shit. My freshman year, we had a code red where somebody came into school with a weapon, like a gun, threatening to shoot us shoot us up or whatever the fuck nothing happened we were all locked down the whole day but nothing happened you know instead of being quiet and blase blah like fucking we were loud you know we were fucking cracking jokes we were eating shit Shit, shit. Let somebody go into Southridge back in those days trying to shoot up the school. Boy. Before that dude even touches the trigger, he'd get shot five times. Everybody was strapped up back in high school. You know, Katie, that's it that's that's part of a deeper problem that's that's going on in this country. You know, it's it's kind of like I saw a meme the other day. It's like, you know, when uh, when a drunk driver kills somebody in a in a in a in a in, a, in an accident, nobody blame nobody blames the car. You know what I mean? Nobody ever blames the car. So why would you blame the gun? Like. And Katie, if you really are ex-military, thank you for your service, ma'am. I appreciate it. Exactly, Katie. Kind of like when they uh, when they put forth that that war on drugs. Where has that gotten us? In an unprecedented debt, and uh, drugs are easier to get now more than ever. So there's that. Yeah, I agree. It's it's a people issue, man. It's a people issue. So Timothy, let me ask you a question. When's the last time a gun walked into any school and shot up a bunch of people? Just the gun.
Last I checked, you need somebody to pull that trigger. And the gun ain't doing it on its own. Exactly, Devin, and exactly. It's a it's a people issue, man. It's a people issue. Alright. Let's speaking of people. See if we can get some short prints in this thing. Or something nice. Corey Seeger the Dodgers of the patch. Yeah, I mean we're we're having a we're having a a, a, a nice discussion, Dan. Just ha just having a nice discussion. You know this this is stuff that needs to be talked about, man. You know that's you know I say it all the time, bro. That the pussification of this nation has been underway for years, man. You know we're 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 afraid of talking about issues. Well, how are we gonna get ahead as a country and as a people if we don't talk about these issues? You know what I mean? So, you know, fuck that. Get uncomfortable. You know what I mean? The, the, we we got to talk about this stuff, man. Trevor Story of the Rockies. There is an autograph. There is an autograph. For the Rockies, Trevor Story. Number to 99, the auto. Very nice. Boom. It all listen. It all it all boils down to money, man. It's this country is all about greed and all about what can make what can put more money in my pocket. Sean Manea or the A's that is numbered to sixty-seven. I don't know. I, I don't have the answers, but I, I I will say we we definitely need to step out of our comfort zone and talk about these things because you know, once once we're dead and gone, man, you know, it, it's it's our kids, it's your kids that that are gonna inherit this world, and, and you know, and, and whatever we we do with it, they they gotta deal with, you know. Uh, JG, you're asking the wrong person, my guy. Uh, here's a hint, JG. Never ask me what something should go for, because I have no idea. Alright, so Ryan Braun, that's a short print. Code 43 makes it a short print for the Brewers. There you go. That's one short print so far. Uh, Royce, there's a high chance that you're behind. Click that button on the left side of the left bottom side of the screen. Or on the video, I should say, on YouTube that says live. Click on the live button so you can see your boy in real time. Nelson Cruz, Mariners foil. The good old pussification of the country. We got kids nowadays, boys thinking they're girls, girls thinking they're boys, which, you know, that's that's a whole other ballgame there. But, like, can't even spank your kids nowadays. And I put, and I put a, a lot of that blame on children, on the, on the parents of the kids, man. You know, if we, if we did a better job of raising these kids, you know, nowadays it's all about, you know, how many views I can get on my, my social media account. Bro, let me let me try one of those dumbass challenges or whatever. My mama whoop my ass, boy, with the quickness. And you can bet I'll never do that shit again. But now it's like, man. 
Can't even touch your kids nowadays, bro. Don't let me have no kids, boy. I'm whooping the ass, boy. They do something wrong. You are getting your ass whooped. There are repercussions for your actions. Uh, Aaron Judge of 2018 for the Yankees. That's pretty nice. Yeah, you feel me, Katie? I, I, you know, I'd rather whoop my kid's ass than have a corrections officer do it when he ends up in jail for for not thinking about the consequences his actions could possibly have. You know, that's 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 the biggest thing I took out of it. You know, anytime my mom whooped my ass, you know, I, I would sit there and think like, why did I get my ass whooped? And then she, and then you know, after we both cooled down, she would come in. You know, tears, sobbing, whatever. And she's like, oh, you know, you know why I whooped your ass, right? Because of this, this, and this. And then, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, well, why is she crying? And, you know, you put two and two together and you grow up, man. And you're thinking like, well, you know, it probably hurt her more to whoop my ass than for me to get my ass whooped. So you start thinking like, well, what did I do to deserve this? And what can I do to avoid getting this ass whooping? So you start you start to think a little bit more, and that's that's one thing I, I kind of always liked about getting spanked is it's not for nothing, you know. For the most part, there was a reason for me getting my <laughs> ass whooped. You know, I probably shouldn't have stole those cards out of that shop. I probably shouldn't have, you know, broken that neighbor's window. I probably shouldn't have put a potato up the exhaust of that car, blowing it up. You know, there's a lot of things I shouldn't have done, but, you know, I got ass whoopings every single time. So I learned from it. But, like, I see some of these kids talk back to their parents out in public, man, and, and I'm just like, wow, man, like, pfft. bro, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would not dare even look at my mom the wrong way. You know, the, the way some of these kids talk back to, to their parents, dude, it's, Man, crazy. Oh, damn, I, bro, I used to get wooden wooden spoons thrown at me, bro. Whatever my mom could get a hold of, she would use. I've been beaten by, bro, I've been beaten by broomsticks. I've been beaten with fucking wire hangers, extension cords. All, all sorts of belts, all, all kinds of different types of sandals, high heels, boots thrown at me. I got all kinds of stuff, bro. I think I definitely appreciate my whoopings when I was a kid for sure. For sure. It, it made me it made me just think, man. At least for me. I can't speak on no one else. I'm sure kids will get spanked and they're like, well fuck you, mom. And then they just get worse. At that point you got a psychopath on your hands. What you trying to say, Tomas? A barber razor belt? Nah, I have not gotten that. I think the most savage whooping I ever got. Well, there's actually a couple that stick out in my mind. Uh, I remember once I I, I was uh, I was kind of a badass little kid. I used to steal like uh, comic book cards and Pokemon cards and things like that uh, from a mall that was close to my house. 
And then eventually I got caught. My mom found out about it. And she proceeded to whoop my ass for a week straight. An entire week of ass whoopings. The very first day, you know, I didn't get whooped. But, you know, I woke up, going to school or whatever. The, I remember it was a school day. And I wake up to go take a shower. And mid-shower, she burst in the bathroom and proceeds to whoop my ass in the shower. That was day number one. And then from there on, every night that I got home from school, I get, you know, I get an ass whooping. For a week straight. There, there, that was one. And there was another one uh, back when I was in Colombia. I don't know what I did. I, I must have did some, did some stupid shit. Uh, oh, no. It, dude, hilarious. Hilarious, Tomas. Hilarious. Because I thought I was slick. I would put on like five different pairs of pants. And I would like, you know, I would, you know, I would stuff like pillows down there to try to, you know, soften the blow. But dude, my mom was ahead of the game on that one. So she, she, you know, mom won Jesse zero. Um, but there was another time back in Colombia. Again, I don't know what I did, but she, it was bro, it was medieval. She had me on my hands and knees. And I was like, I was on my hands and knees, kneeling down on the floor, but it was not, it was like, it was not a regular floor. There were like pebbles, like rocks and glass and stuff all over the floor. So she had me on my hands and knees, kneeling down, right? And I was there for like a good 10, 15 minutes. And anytime I moved, she would hit me with, uh, with an extension cord. She would, well, no, not the rice floor. We took it up a notch. It was, it was like little pebbles of rocks and like, you know, little little glass or whatever. And, and yeah. Anytime I moved, she would like whip me with the, with the fucking extension cord. And, and yeah, those are one of the most memorable ass whoopings of, of my life. Those things stick with you, man. I'll tell you what, I'll never steal out of the store ever again. Just because of the fear that it'll, it'll get back to my mom and then she's going to whoop my ass in the shower. I don't care how big I am or how old I am, I will always fear that woman. But like a responsible fear, you know? That is Kaiko the Astros with a patch. Got a random that. Oh no, not me. My mom. I come from a single single parent uh, household, man. So my mom had to be moms and pops. So my ass whoopings had to be like uh, on another level, you know. And dude, honestly, as an adult, bro. I cherish every single ass whooping I've ever gotten, dude. Seriously. Nowadays, it's like, oh, kids on timeout. Oh, no. Oh, I put little Timmy on timeout so he can learn his lesson. What lesson did he learn? He ain't learned shit. Pain and fear are the best, uh, best tools to learn. I don't care what nobody says. You know, kids. Oh, here's a short print. Yasiel Puig of the Dodgers. That is a short print. Ends in 43. Well, Timothy, when you're doing a break like this, you kind of have to entertain yourself with some kind of conversation, bro. Because this break is brutal. A fuck ton of base cards. You know, it's either we talk about random shit or, you know, or I talk about how much I hate this product. And I'd rather not do that. Alright, so we've come across a few short prints. We got one autograph. Hopefully we can get one more. Wishful thinking, but hey. One on one mojo would be nice.
What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Dodgers having a decent break. They they doing all right. They doing all right. Got a random that Rizzo Harper joint. Oh my God! Displays if 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 that is a troll, then you my friend are doing a great job. Because nobody in their right mind would put awesome in Series 1 baseball in the same sentence. Don't get me wrong. The short prints are fucking awesome. And some of the autos are pretty sick. There are good things to this, but have you seen the amount of base cards that are, that are, that are coming out of here? That is no bueno, sir. That is no bueno. I mean, it's it's cool if it's like for a kid or something like that. You know what I mean? But for for those of us that are in the hobby, don't care. Uh, what the hell do we do with the baseball cards? Well, we actually sell them. We have a, a veteran base spot allotted on this break, so all veteran base cards from all teams, of course, with exceptions of inserts and in. in uh, and short prints and numbered cards uh, are going to the veteran base spot. So clearly, some someone wants it. Uh, Matt Joyce of the A's, number to The famous, I do not remember that, uh, oh my god. Fucking Hosmer cashing out. Alright, we have arrived upon our last box here. Uh, Chris Tillman of the Orioles with a foil. Select is coming up right, literally right after this. That's not what I wanted to do. We got select football coming up right after this. And that is like leagues and bounds way better. Same Chiefs and the Giants for Timothy. Nice. Go for it. Uh, oh, my God, if you like. Oh, you mean like the actual like squirrel card? Yeah. That's that's yeah, that is that is awesome. The rally squirrel. Yeah, now I know what you're talking about. Damn, that is old school right there. Do they have do they have the rally squirrel in this product? That would be crazy. I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. Uh, that is from a Topps Chrome break from last year, uh, Royce. It's probably uh, the, like the only card in my collection. Did you really, Stifler? That's actually a pretty cool card. Number 15 out of 25. Jose Altuve uh, for the Astros. That was out of Topps Chrome from last year. I got it in a filler. I actually, I actually did pretty decent in that break. Came up with a few uh, Astro cards. Allen and Ginter is another product that has pretty funny cards. Lay it on me, Timothy. No. 
Yeah, Goodwin Champions has some like funky stuff. My man has a box of unopened Desert Storm cards. How much are they worth? My answer, no idea. But hopefully someone in here does. So you got an error card? Gotta love those misprints. Oh, Lord of Mercy. That's a good question, Timothy. If I were you, just price it for a million dollars. Because you could always negotiate down, but you can't negotiate up. So you might as well start with a high number. go last box mojo good luck peeps well a great the grading will definitely affect the uh, the price of it for sure we have a John Gray material card for the Rockies Probably see a short print come out of here. I see a thick card up here. What is that? I think we might have came across something kind of cool here. Number 20, 20 out of 25. A World Series card for George Springer. Of the Astros. That's kind of cool. Game used memorabilia. That's kind of decent. I guess. Oh, there's two relics in that box. You can call it a hot box if you like. And throw an extra auto in here. Why not? Fuck it. Might as well. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
There's a short print, I believe, for the Royals. Mike Mustauskas. That is, yep, it is a short print. Ends in 43. There we go. I think that's the, what is that, the third short print we've had? Yep, three short prints in a half case. From what I found, anyway, there may be uh, some super short prints mixed in, but um, my sorters will uh, get those. Sleeve them and top load them, and send them to their team if they are lurking in there. Trey Turner, the Nationals, the 2018 Happy Wednesday, JG. Uh, select football is coming up right after this, you guys, and I'm almost done with this break. Got a foil of Dexter Fowler Cardinals. All right. Seeing that, seeing that hoaxer, baby. That I think it's called Real American Man or something like that. Oh, I just gotta entertain myself somehow. Dominic Smith to 2018 for the Mets. Got a random that. I also got to do a little quick random, but not a big deal. There is a foil for Nolan Arenado, Rockies. Uh, oh my God, I'm going to say everybody and they mama thinks they can do this now. So, uh, should be interesting, should be interesting. Got Johnny Cueto, Giants foil. Yeah, from what I understand, this is still a fairly new thing. Case breaks has been around for like five, six years. So, you know, a, a lot of people still learning about this stuff, just like I am. All right, and that was the break. So, before I recap the, uh, the hits and this stuff... Put the uh, patches away there, and uh, let's go ahead and do the uh, random, simple random. It's either going to go to the left side team or the right side team. As you notice, uh, these cards have teams on the left and on the right, so that's how we're going to random this. Got the Cubs on the left, Nationals on the right, Twins on the left, Royals on the right. So that's how we're going to do it. Left side team, odd number, right side team, even number. Odd left, even right, odd left, even right. Good luck. Even number six. So we're going to go with the right side. Got the Nationals and the Royals. Boom. Boom. Any suggestions, uh, oh my god, that I can steal and implement for myself? All right, got that done. Now we can do a recap. So let's start with the patches. So we have U Darvis Dodgers, Cespedes Mets, Ballinger Dodgers, Seeger Dodgers, Guriel, I'm sorry, Keiko Astros, John Gray Rockies, and George Springer Astros. Got some numbered cards. Sean Manea of the A's to 67. 
Uh, this is not numbered, but about one per case. The um, negative of Eduardo Nunez, Red Sox. Chase Utley of the Dodgers, that's numbered to 76. Nolan Arenado, Rockies, that is numbered to 67. And Robbie Ray of the D-backs, that is numbered to 50. And got some short prints. Mike Mustauskas, Royals, short print. Uh, Yasiel Puig, Dodgers, short print. And a Ryan Braun, Brewers, short print. And the autograph is for Trevor Story of the Rockies. Number 98 out of 99. And there you go. That was the break, folks. 2018 Series 1 Baseball Hobby Half Case Break Number 8 eBay Style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.